<clears throat> hey, what's up? <clears throat> what's up, everybody? Dwayne Roberts here, Marketing and Conversion. And tonight, we're going to be talking about how to get 1% better every single day. So I'm going to give a few minutes for people to jump in here onto this live, and then we're going to get going. So if you're just now coming to the live, let me know um, where, you're where you're calling from, how long you've been an agent, what company you're with. Welcome to the call tonight, guys. What's up, Joel? Yeah, Joel, I saw uh, you, you left a comment. I think you and I should talk about that. I think it was probably not the right thing to do, but you and I, I'm going to reach out to you and we'll, we'll, we'll I'll, you know, my thought processes on that. So if you're just now joining the call, go ahead and put in your name and where you're calling from and maybe what company you're with. <clears throat> in this group, we always like to give out referrals. We like to uh, uh, network with individuals. So <clears throat> let us know where you're from and you'll never know. So I might get a referral in your neck of the woods. I'm gonna allow about three more minutes for people to get in this and we are gonna get started on tonight's call which is all going to be about how to get 1% better every single day. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn my video off for now. So I'll go ahead and pin this to the uh, top so they can find it, and I'll be right back. All right, all right. Before I continue, give me some uh, <clears throat> some feedback to let me know that you guys can see my screen. Zoom's been acting a little crazy today, so you can just at least let me know if you can see my screen before we get started. That would be awesome. Thank you so much. Okay, okay, okay. Today's presentation is <clears throat> about getting 1% better every single day. So first, what I want to do is I want to ask you a little bit about how important you think it is about building your brand and creating that authority in your marketplace as a realtor. So comment down below if you think that is important or if that's just secondary. So if you think that's important, Put it in the comments, let me know. If you think it's not as important, I'd be interested to know that as well. <clears throat> because I noticed when I talk to a lot of clients or potential clients and I'm looking at their brand, it looks like, you know, they might be an agent, but they're not really active. Let me tell you what I mean by that. And, Every once in a while, I'll see something that's real estate related, but they really don't have that authoritative figure 
that really says, hey, I am a producing agent. And that's what we help people do here for a living. So <clears throat> honestly, in order to get better every single day, there's a couple of tangible things that I want you guys to know. There's three main things to focus your energy on. The first one is your brand awareness. The second one is your market authority. And the third one is going to be consistency. You've got to be consistent. So let's dive in into the importance of what you would say a scale of say one to 10. Like how important is your actual brand authority in your community that you're actually trying to serve? Now I'm telling you right now, it's ultimately important, but a lot of agents aren't getting the immediate results off it. So they don't want to do it or they're afraid that they're wasting their time. And that's an absolute big mistake. You see, let's think about what a consumer wants in a real estate brand. Now, I think this is what the general public really wants to know. So this is what you should be focusing in on, right? You really need to know your market inside and out. That is having market authority, knowing what's happening inside and out, knowing development plans, knowing things that are coming soon, knowing your new construction in your market. But really, it's your marketing knowledge and your, mark, your knowledge about the market that people are going to associate you with. They're going to think to themselves, man, this guy or girl really knows the market inside and out. Now, if they know that, like, say you knew a property was priced a little low or priced a little high, and you called that out to begin with, they're going to know that you know what you're talking about. So you can start sharing educational pieces as part of your brand. And part of your brand needs to be a market dominant in the terms of your knowledge and your focus. So always think in terms of what do you know about your niche? What do you know about your market? What do you know about buying and selling in your city? And relate that information to other people on a consistent basis. See, this is the biggest one that trips a lot of agents up. They may do a Facebook Live every now and then, but they're not being consistent about it because they don't get an immediate return, or at least they don't think they're getting an immediate return. They'll do, they'll do two or three Facebook Lives, and they don't get a client off it, and they want to throw the baby out with the bathwater. That is the absolutely worst thing that you can do because you've got to be consistent because consistency equals trust okay let me give you let me give you a real example here right so if you're following someone and their messaging is consistent are you more or less likely to want to follow that person obviously you need to uh, follow the person if they're being consistent with their messaging so are you popping in and off facebook sporadically are you doing it on a consistent basis? Because what's gonna happen is, I promise you this, they are going to reward you when they see your consistency. So how does your brand create eyeballs from people who may not personally be buying or selling at the time? You see, buying and selling a home, it's a process. It doesn't start overnight. It's not like, buying furniture while well, someone walks in they pick out a living room suit and a table and you make a sell this is a relationship business and that's why a lot of sales reps sometimes have problems transitioning from what they are currently selling into real estate because they think they're selling a house and i'm telling you right now you're not selling a house you're selling yourself you're selling your brand right and the quicker that you can transfer the belief to other people that you're knowledgeable about the, what's happening in your marketplace is the quicker you're going to develop that brand authority. And when you do that by talking about market inventory, coming soon, being knowledgeable about developments, people are going to start viewing you a cut above the rest. Okay, so 
I want to pause here for just one second because this one's really near and dear to my heart. You see, as real estate agents, there's so many agents out there that get a lead and they want to look, act, and sound like everyone else. And they're not doing anything different than the other agents. And they wonder why they're not getting a different result. You have to do something different in order to get something different. It is the law of nature, okay? And when you put other people's needs first and you develop a mindset that you're just looking to help people, when you do that, you'll never have to worry about money again for the rest of your entire life because the money, it will just come, right? Kimberly, she's one of my students in our advanced course right now, and she has she shared a story earlier about how that is applicable and, and to, into her business right now. Now, if you're the type of person that's consistently seeking out more knowledge and you're wondering what you need to do and how to do it, you just got to come up with a game plan. You have to create a brand that creates buzz, so to speak. And how do you get those eyeballs from people personally not wanting to buy or sell at the time? Maybe they have a maybe they have a family member, maybe someone else at work that <laughs> that may know that they're trying to buy a house. You'll be surprised the number of people that they will refer to you if they view you differently than other people. I mean, I'll give you I'll give you an example. Um, it's fresh in my mind, so I'm gonna use the example from Kimberly that I mentioned earlier. So she had a lead. And the person um, really wasn't looking to buy, was, was looking to rent, um, but you know was engaging and talking and nice. And Kimberly did the right thing and helped her, help him or her again to that process, you know, in the rental process in the rental property. But lo and behold, uh, the person's brother uh, needs to buy and sell another property, and she was referred to her brother. Do the right thing, even when you don't want to do it, and the money, the money will just come. So with brand awareness, you need to know who your target client is and how important your brand authority is in, in your community. It is vitally, vitally important because brand authority equals referrals. When you brand yourself as a cut above the rest, the referrals, they just come. Now, your quality of your marketing is extremely important. You've got to look great. And then there goes, the, the knowledge of knowing what's happening in your market. So when you look great and you know what you're talking about, you're positioned a lot better than everyone else to be able to get your fair share of market, okay? Because again, I keep sounding like a broken horn here, but you've got to look different in order to get something different from other people. Now, you might be the person that, always looking for this knowledge, you may ask yourself, where do I find it? What are the types of things can I be talking about? You know, what can you be posting, right? So you need to be posting stuff about what you're currently doing right now. If you're at a home inspection, that needs to be live on Facebook. If you're, uh, especially if you find a, a challenge at the inspection, so they know that you're looking out. If you're going to a closing, that needs to be live on Facebook. But you don't always only want to post business stuff. You want to do a mixture. So you still want to post things about your personal life. People want to be able to relate to you as a person. And because of that, you can't be 100% all business. You want to mix it in about you personally, your kids, maybe your beliefs. You can... Uh, talk about client testimonials. And by the way, let me tell you something about client testimonials, okay? If you've never heard this, I want you to get this one down pretty good. It's that facts tell, stories sell. Facts tell, stories sell. So when you're talking to a first time home buyer, you could talk to them all day long about the program in your state and about FHA and about this and about that. And it is important that they get all the information, but you're going to get so much further along if you simply shared a story 
of a first time home buyer that you're recently able to help. Now, you may be asking, what do you wanna say in your personal life? The bottom line here is they want people to do business with people that they know, they like, and they trust. That's the bottom line. So post content that leads them toward that goal, to be likable, trustworthy, and to be competent. Now, if you're thinking to yourself that you're struggling to market yourself, if that's you right now, put it in the comments right now, me. Just type in the word me. If, if you're struggling a little bit to uh, market yourself because you're not quite sure what to do, how to do it, when to do it, just go ahead and put me in the comments. I'd be curious to know how many of you guys that this is a uphill battle for. <clears throat> because let me be the first person to tell you from a coach that speaks to lots of agents, everyone has a problem with this. It is a challenge with everyone. Now, and here's another reason. So some people are afraid that they're bragging, okay? And they don't want to come across, you know, uh, at, as that guy or that girl that's bragging. Listen, this is your business in big, bold letters, right? Your business, right? You're not bragging, okay? Get it out of your head that you're bragging and to share your story, share your experiences. And those that you should be attracted to, let me rephrase that, those that should be attracted to you will be attracted to you. And those that should be repelled will be repelled. You see, talk about clients that you've helped, buying and selling. And you can also do uh, quarterly uh, wrap ups. So. Once a quarter, talk about what's happening in the marketplace. Talk about the number of listings that happened, how many are still available, the average price per square footage. Do a quarterly wrap up. And you should be doing that not only on Facebook Live, but you should be doing a, uh, a Facebook ad specifically about your quarterly wrap up. You want your name, your company, your brand plastered all over social media so start branding yourself as the agent in town I, I want you to think of something right now who is the agent in town you've already got him or her in your back of your mind this is the guy or girl that's on every billboard that you can't escape every time you turn around they're there who is that that needs to be you if you haven't figured that one out that definitely 100 it needs to be you right so don't get me wrong part of this business is remaining is remaining humble and being a servant but you also want your marketing to look different than everyone else's so they view you differently and if they view you differently they're more likely to take that next step with you all right and remember it's not really work all right it's your passion You've got to be passionate about what you're talking about. And if you're passionate with what you're talking about, it's going to come across a lot smoother and it's not going to feel like work. You see, some people, they really struggle when it comes to self-promotion. They really wonder how to brand market themselves and still feel so self-conscious. You know, I think the real answer is that everyone secretly is a little bit self-conscious, but no one wants to come off bragging and saying stuff like, look at me, look at me, this works, and I'm an expert in my market, and I've sold X number of homes. But for the vast majority of realtors, you know, there has to be, the they have to have the energy to share when you're not feeling like sharing. Like, you have to get consistent on it. So if you're going to put out a video a week, then put out a video per week. You've got to be very consistent because... Here's the bottom line. People are watching. I promise you that people are watching. They're watching each and everything that you do. And the ones that you think that you never have a chance to do business with, those are the ones that are watching you right now. And when the time is right, they'll come back and you'll be surprised about how your consistency actually paid off. Now, 
a lot of the reasons people are don't want to share their experiences if they're doing well is they're afraid of the repercussions that people are going to go like, oh my God, this person's sharing another congratulations to someone. Don't feel that way. Because if you're passionate about what you're doing, you're going to have no problem sharing your experiences with other people. <laughs> Again, I've said it before, and I want to reiterate it now. You will attract the ones that you should be attracting, and you're going to repel the ones that you should be repelling. Now, here's why I love real estate. Because real estate is simply a numbers game. Now, let me guys, let me ask you guys a question. How many of you know your lead number? <clears throat> How many leads do you need to get in order to hit your individual income goals for 2021? And by the way, we might as well call it the first quarter is just about done. So you got, well, a couple more days. You made some closings, you know, tomorrow, the next day. But where are you with your quarterly goals? Are you on track or off track of where you're supposed to be in 2021? Go ahead and put in the comments right now if you are on track or if you are off track of where you wanted to be in 2021. The only way to hit your goal is to know exactly how many leads needs to come in based off your conversion ratio in order to hit your income goals. Now, I do have a, uh, a lead calculator that breaks that down for you. It shows you the exact number of leads that you need. You can put in your commission split. You can put in how many weeks vacation you're taking. And it will tell you down to a daily basis <clears throat> how many leads that you need to get. And after that point, it's just a matter of getting leads. So if you do not have the lead calculator now and you would like a free version of it, I'm happy to provide that for you. In the comments, just put calculator. So in the comments, put calculator and I will make sure you, you get the link that you need in order to determine what your lead goal is. Now, you know, I'm not a real estate robot. Some people think that I am because I post content all over the place, especially when I was, you know, producing as an agent. But that's not what most people need. Uh, that's the exact opposite of what a lot of people think that they shouldn't be doing. You've got to be posting continuously. You have got to always be out there, putting yourself out there to, to the community. And the more you do it, the easier it's going to get. Let me ask you, let me ask you guys a question right now. True talk. <clears throat> if I gave you 100 leads, how many would you close? If 100 leads landed in your lap today, how many of those do you think that you could actually get to the closing table? I'm curious to see <clears throat> the responses that are coming back. I'm going to circle back to that a little bit, give Zoom time to catch up so I can see you guys' responses. Also, when you're online, you have got to be vulnerable because people can relate when you are vulnerable. So in other words, don't always be posting your success stories only. Also post the times that things don't go so well. When a, when a heaven forbid, but when a loan fell apart at the last minute, you want to be posting those things as well because people can relate to you when that's happening. I think there's a lot of people who don't really realize that their brand is their absolute biggest asset, asset and that they should be invested into it on a monthly basis. See, they'll typically invest in the other side of things like marketing leads, so on and so forth, but they forget about how important their brand exposure actually is. You see, before you get a lot of leads, you need to establish your brand first. And then obviously you can scale the marketing to get traffic and the traffic is going to go to a trust, trustworthy brand. As a matter of fact, for our, our advanced students, that's one of the first things that we talk about is building that trust factor. 
building your brand to get you looking, sounding, and being different than the other agents. See, you're driving revenue with your post, or you should be. And that revenue is either going to get you business now or in the future, and it's going to get you referrals because of your brand authority. Now, let me ask you a question. If you like what you're hearing so far, and you're asking yourself, well, how do I get more people involved? I mean, how do I get more people to talk to? I want you to comment increase down below for a free 15 minute marketing checkup call. And on this call, what we're gonna do is we're gonna ask some questions. I'd love to know what you're currently doing now. I'd love to know what's working and what has not, where you think you may need some help. And we're gonna have a very organic conversation. This is not a sales pitch. Now for full transparency, if I think that I can help, then I'll let you know what that looks like and I'll invite you to another call. If I do not think I can help, because I can't help everyone. If someone tells you to help everyone, run. I can't help everyone. But if I think I can help you, we'll talk about what that looks like. But if I can't, I want to at least point you in what I consider to be the right direction. Because you have to have a system in place. You have to have a predictable, reliable solution in order to get leads coming in the front door faster than it going out the back. Now, if you are one of my students and you're on the call right now, put in the comments down below your experiences after you have upgraded to Agent to Rainmaker and how you feel that helped or even did it help be real raw about it, your real estate career and if you felt it was a good decision that you made to make that 15 minute call. A lot of real estate coaches out there, they're all high pressure. You give them a call and they're like, you gotta do this, you gotta do that. That's not what we're about. We're really in this business to help agents learn how to get to that next level, no matter what that next level is. For some people, they just need to get consistent closing one transaction per month. We'll help you get there. For others, it may be two, three, four transactions per month. For others, they are looking to build a team and to scale where they're currently at. And they're trying to take over their entire town. So regardless of where you're at, we have predictable, duplicatable, lead generating systems and brand marketing exposure to help you look different, act different and be different. So people want to do business with you. Let me give you, let, let me give you a, uh, a pipeline. I mean, an example of how important pipeline is. Uh, Kim just mentioned it. She says, I've got a pipeline. I have confidence in my abilities. I'm finally quitting my full-time job. And she's like, woohoo, that's what I'm talking about. Congratulations, Kim. Most likely, not to put words directly in her mouth, Kim, you tell me if I'm right. You needed the confidence that you could build a pipeline and you needed the tools in order to build a pipeline that would give you the confidence, hey, to quit my job. And that's what a lot, where a lot of agents are, because here's the truth, all right? <clears throat> At least I consider it truth. Let me see if you guys um, agree with me. Answer this question for me. Did real estate school properly prepare you on how to do this business? Yes or no? Or did it only prepare you just enough to pass the test? That's the question. Did real estate school properly prepare you to do this business or did it prepare you just enough to pass the test? For most people, they're going to say just enough to pass the test. And then statistically speaking, you may not be a statistic. I wasn't a statistic. Hopefully you're not either. But statistically speaking, the average agent is going to retire their license within the first 18 months. Why? because they burn through their warm market. There's two primary reasons people get involved with real estate. Number one, they watched way too much HGTV. You're allowed to laugh. Number two, they knew somebody who was successful in real estate. But after they spent a lot of money to get licensed, 
then they quickly realize that they, they, they signed up for a marketing job and they didn't even realize it. So they go to their broker and what does the broker tell them to do? Send out mailers, knock on doors, call FISBOs, call expires. And I'm not saying that those things don't work. But what I am saying is they're not nowhere near as effective as they used to be. Because we are in a whole new century right now. Everything is digital. And for those agents that are putting their head in the sand, they're going to continue to have an uphill battle. You need to learn this digital stuff. You need to learn how to, at a moment's notice, ask any of my students, at a moment's notice, if you want to generate buyer and seller leads, you have the capability of doing it. And more importantly, as much as this may sound like a pipe dream coming out of my lips right now, you can do it for free. I teach four organic methods to get as many leads as you can humanly possibly work and you never have to spend a single dollar on advertising. And a lot of my claim to fame is that people will book themselves directly on your calendar. What do I mean by that? I mean, because of your brand exposure, because of the way you positioned it, the way you marketed, that you'll run an ad and they'll make it through a process. At the end of that process, they'll say, hey, he or she looks different, acts different than everyone else. And I am willing to jump on his or her calendar for a home buyer's consultation. Let me ask you a question. How would your life be different if you woke up every single day, you look down at your phone and you had two buyers to talk to and maybe a seller? Every single day, you had new people on your calendar. Would things change for you? Most likely, yes. And that's what we bring to the table here at Marketing and Conversion. So if you're watching this live or you're watching the replay, if you're ready to take your business to the next level, comment down below, increase. That is going to be a clue for my team to reach out to you, to coordinate our schedules so we can have that real and raw 15 minute conversation to, say, to see if we're able to help you get yourself to that next level, guys. So. That's all I have for you guys tonight. This one's a little bit short. I really appreciate you guys tuning in. Even if you're watching the replay, please interact and let me know where you're calling from. Like to know those type things. And if you want the calculator, put in calculator. If you're ready to take your business to the next level, let me know that as well. So on behalf of my, myself, Amanda, the entire team of Marketing and Conversion, I want you guys to know something. You have everything inside you to be as successful as you want. You may just need a little bit of push, a little bit of tools, and we can give you the tools that you need for your tool belt to help you guys get to the next level. That's all for now. We'll see you next week.